So in the last game, I posed a question. How can my Dunk, um, sorry, my Obi-Wan Kenobi, a modified Dunk Master build, do so much damage despite building no damage? The answer is in your E. As you level up your E, you do more true damage per strike. And with double strike, you get sometimes get a double proc of this. It is because of this double strike and your um, very high attack speed that you can do so much damage. And it'll be true damage, so you can't mitigate it other than you know buying more health. But I'm going to go through this game because this is actually uh, this game actually goes pretty poorly. Now we do have Shackle Top. That's not a glitch. We planned this. But um, a reason I like this game is because I get counter jungled. You know, so how do I, how do you recover from being, getting counter jungled when you dunk Master Yi? The answer is you steal kills. But uh, oh, they did ward my red. Okay. Whatever. I actually I don't like doing the gold double golem camp. I think it's a little hard. But um okay, Riven saw me coming coming the gank. Didn't matter. So I'm just gonna go through this game and show you where the difficulties arise. I do think I wind up feeding a lot more in this game. Yeah, so there's a good example. Remember, um, the jungle Yi, Dunk Master does gank, but usually he just ganks to steal kills early on. So I tower dive and just ghost out. And that's what you, that's what you got to do. You got to like tower diving with Dunk Master Yi is not a problem, especially if they're low. You know, all you need to do is just do some burst, lay down some burst damage, and then run away. That actually goes wrong a few times here. Our Annie mid gets killed, and I think... Now we're going to wait for the next one. At one point in this game, the the Annie and the Shaco are going to swap lanes, because the Annie's having a really rough time against the uh, Zed. Yeah, so she did. they did swap after that. So here I'm running to my blue buff because I want to get my blue buff before they the Nunu takes it. And here Nunu sits in mid, so I decide I have to sit in mid too just to show that I'm going to be there to back up my dude. Turns out they tower dive, and he pulls a really awesome ult. The Zed double shadows, and because of the double shadow, I wind up queuing all the way into the middle of the lane. And here I just I just want to steal the farm. Alright, he's done farming. Place a ward there. And I guess I, my trinket was down because usually I trink it over and cue the blue buff. Bot had gotten low here. I didn't know that was warded. No one told me that was warded. And I'm I'm gonna die here. Thankfully, the shackle cleans up. He doesn't get the karma. I know he doesn't. Two times speed. We lose a turd because of that, and then here I'm going to wind up dying. Because I, uh, over I underestimated my opponents and I overestimated myself. See, I, I, don't, need I don't have zeal yet. I don't have my three zeals. Nunu comes to say hi. I'm like, nope, my buff. Man, their ward coverage is great. And then I get once I get the golf ball, I go in. Annie gets wrecked in top. Josh is about to get wrecked right here. See? Then we lose another tower. And at this point, we're thinking maybe we should have just let 
Annie stay in top or stay in the middle and just let Shaco get fed off of Riven Top. Also, right here, I'm, I'm starving because uh, my ganks didn't go off well, and, I, and since I ganked, I pretty much sacrificed my power farming. But I, I want to help my lanes out. So I keep ganking, being the good jungler I am. Zed gets another kill, and Zed's just really hard to stop right now. But we need Shaco to get some kind of gold because he's going to be useless without it. So he teleports top like, Shaco, you take care of top. We'll put any back in mid. And their Zed is just unstoppable, apparently. Now here is where I see an opportunity to clean house. And by clean house, I mean get wrecked. So we'll ignore that for now. I was actually warned of that. I just I thought that they that I could do it. I was getting pretty cocky with the uh, Obi Wan Kenobi now. Don't do that though. You need your zeals. Your zeals are the source of your power. And since we're getting pressured bot, we want to pl apply pressure top. Well, we want to apply pressure somewhere else. So that's why we're pushing this lane out. And that, then I recall because I think I can get my other double sword. Not yet. Wait. I might have got. Oh, that's not me. Yeah, I got my other. I got pieces of a double sword. And they've been stealing my blue buff. But it's not a problem. It's not a problem. You know, counter jungling Yi is just a minor setback. You can always steal farm from the lanes. Like, we're down 8,000 gold right now. I didn't didn't realize it was that bad. But, you know, you just got to keep doing your thing. Keep power farming. Get your double swords. You can, you can, you can carry. It's, it's not hard. Yi isn't a very mechanically difficult champion. So my team wins a team fight in bot lane. And I decided to go help. Uh, I steal the kill by chasing it down. This is half speed, isn't it? And that's that's pretty much the name of the game. You steal kills by chasing them down. You with your boots and mobility, double swords. And your uh, runes and masteries, you should be, you should be booking it, man. You should be running so fast, and you know, had to leave him to die there. There's nothing I can do about it. How long is this game, by the way? It is 35 minutes. Okay. So here, uh, we're on a mission. Operation Kill Ezreal. Wait, 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 what? Did you see that? Best flashes in A. So Ezreal Fail flashes into the wall with his arcane shift, and we decide to pressure bottom. And here I start getting, I start getting mad at, getting mad at the Nunu because I'm like, you've been, you've been in my jungle stealing my creeps. You gotta die. And here I'm like, nope, I gotta run away. Because we got, we we got caught. And my friend tells me to bait them, so I bait them. Because they want to push mid, so I was like, he's like, don't leave the mid, bait them somewhere else. So I, I tried, but uh, I wound up not baiting them anywhere. And he gets wrecked.
Now here's here's how the E works. You press R, you Q, and you E, and you just kill everyone. Your Q allows you to gap close, and your movement speed allows you to gap close. And I suppose that was a little unfair since technically it couldn't have been a uh, 5v5, but uh, we didn't know that. I lost another blue buff. But actually, let's go back to that fight. Because I want... I want to remind... Oops, wrong button. I want to remind you that my items... Of my items, I have only the Static Shiv, which provides no damage. I have two Zeals, they both provide no damage. And I have the Riggles Lantern, which doesn't provide any damage yet. This is going to be a really late player for me, and I'm really sad about that, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles. Now, with the proc on my uh, Static Shiv, I can actually do a hundred bonus extra... a hundred bonus damage but look I'm doing hundred and fifty damage with a crit which means I'm doing a hundred uh, seventy five damage with a normal attack with no damage items and I attack twice a second so I'm pretty much doing three hundred damage a second and then you gotta remember my double strike which means I can be doing I can go from doing 300 damage a second to doing 450 damage a second. You know, it's 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 the attack speed and your true damage that give you the power. In uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, Although this doesn't look very much like Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't have the uh, Chosen skin. And here I decide to die for the tower. Ooh. And here we go again. We see them all grouped up. I didn't get the golf ball, so I didn't go in. Actually, I did go in. Delete the Karma. Keep going. Delete the Yeah, Zed. Press W eventually. Now I gotta chase this down first. Then we delete the Nunu, and we ace them, 5v5, right there. Now, a lot of people think my build is ridiculous. And it might be. But it works. But I wouldn't recommend going the solo queue on this, because uh, it is a really hard build to do even if it's not it doesn't seem very hard now the issue is with the rampant picks of Annie Morgana yeah Annie Morgana maybe even Zyra in, in the uh, rank because the only thing that will stop Master Yi is CC is the only thing and whenever you can't rely on getting the uh, the Morgana spell shield or getting a spell shield from someone else. You either have to build the build the spell shield yourself, or you have to be a little bit more careful about when you go in. And it's in all honesty, it's easier just to have the spell shield yourself, uh, to have the Morgana give you the spell shield, or to uh, avoid picking Obi Wan Kenobi in matchups where you don't get that. You know, if you don't see them pick Annie Leona Nami. You know, go for it. And you know, if they pick Sona, you can pretty much delete Sona. In the instant she shows her face. 
So I wouldn't worry about that. You know, Sona, fine. But it, it, it's amazing how much damage you can do without building damage on Yi. Like, his, his E is max rank. Right here. So I do 60 damage from every basic attack. For 5 seconds. Now I attack... And actually, yeah, I'll do the math right here for you. Is this, uh... Let's see. My attack speed is 2.3. But I think I pressed R. Yeah. Now this is actually a pretty nice fight to watch. That Zed survives everything. And then Annie tries to go for it. Nope. Not her fault. The uh the Z E is just it hit her before her spell traveled. But um yeah, let's do some calculations. My attack speed without the uh No, let's actually just wait for me to come up because I don't know if that's tampered. Okay, so my attack speed's about two. So I attack twice per second, and I'm doing sixty damage. 60 true damage with every attack. No, oh, wait, do we have... No, we don't have... I remember, because I, I walked through the, the slow. She dies anyway, but... I shouldn't have walked through the slow. So I attack twice per second. Each uh, auto attack with 60 true damage. So I'm doing 120 true damage every second. But I also get double strike every four attacks. So every four attacks counts as five attacks. And I attack twice per second. So every two seconds, I'm doing five attacks. Five times 60 is 300. So I'm doing 300 true damage. True damage. In addition to my normal attack, which has a high probability of critting for 150. So the damage ramps up. So, yeah, I've got five attacks... 300 true damage is assured. And then I have another 750 physical damage. And now that I've got my Feral Flare, you can stack on another uh, 4 damage. Oh wait, 29 actually. Uh, yeah. Kill steal. Yeah, we get this Baron. That's two times speed. Now I got my Infinity Edge now. Which means I can actually hurt people. My crits will now do even, do even more damage. And since I'm getting like two a second, you know, it's going to hurt. Yeah, with this build right now, you have 85% crit chance without runes and mastery. Or without runes. I think I have them in masteries. Karma here tries to bait me. Um, mission accomplished. But you can't really catch E. Not when he ghosts. So I'm gonna get I got boots of fewer because I wanna move fast. I wanna keep on them. That's what that's what this uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi does. He follows people. He chases them down and then he kills them. Like this Ezreal? Dead. This Yi or this uh Nunu? Dead. This Zed dead and at this point oh I died okay 
this Yi died. Uh, I think Zed did ult me. Normally when I get ulted, I press uh, W. To reduce the damage, but I guess I either didn't do that or it wasn't enough reduction. And we're just going to win the game straight out right here. I'm like telling my friends to stop because I want to get my final form, but uh, they decided to win the game without me. So yeah, I mean, let's go back to directed camera. Like, that, that's just the way the game goes, guys. You know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, it works. You know, I, I've explained it in this video, how it works. And it might not be the most viable way to do things. Maybe. But, it works. So, try it out sometime. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.